Okay, we're live. We're live. Hey, everybody, I'm back. Jeannie filled in for me last week, but as you can see, I am back from my vacation. I'm Keely, uh, still with the Kiss downtown Guthrie, in case you're like, who's this crazy person popping up on my Facebook page? That's what I am. Um, we had a really good trip. It's always um, kind of, you know, iffy when you travel with your family, but we all came back still liking each other, and we had a good time. Uh, we went to Memphis first, uh, stayed there for two days. Keep in mind, my husband absolutely despises car trips. And I drove him all the way across Tennessee. Okay, he let me drive, because he didn't like driving that far. So that made it good. I could drive, as you guys know, anywhere. We went to Memphis for two days. I love Memphis, one of my favorite places in the world. And then we went on to Gatlinburg, which was crazy, busy, like usual. It was insane. Um, I like Gatlinburg, but it's not my happy place. My son likes it. In fact, when we were there uh, two spring breaks ago, I kept saying the wrong parent is on this trip. So fortunately, my husband got to go do zip lines and all the things I hate. When Mason and I were there uh, the time before, we went up to this place called, if you've ever been there, Anakista, and it's up on top of a mountain. And so I'm feeling, you know, okay, I can do this. And we took the chair lifts up there. Keep in mind, I hate heights. I mean, I really, truly hate heights. After I got up the top of that mountain, I said, never, ever, ever, as long as I live, will I ever do that again. So we go to Anakista with Keith this time. We get there and I'm like, we are driving, we're gonna ride up in the enclosed thing. I am not gonna ride up with my feet dangling, you know, way up in the air. So we get in the line and the guy goes, it's gonna be two hours for the enclosed thing. Two hour wait, it's hot. So guess what? This is me, I got brought up that picture. This is me on the chairlift. They took a picture of me. You can see how thrilled I am. I think I gripped onto that. My <laughs> knuckles were white, but I didn't make them wait to ride the enclosed thing back down. So just never, ever say never, ever. But I do hope to never, ever do that again. But we did have a good time on our trip, and I'm glad to be back. I think we're all kind of glad to be back, especially since I've spent, you know what, a lot of the summer traveling. Although Jeannie and I are going to disappear to Dallas in a couple weekends. We haven't told too many people that yet. We have, <laughs> we have business to do, though. And my son's excited about school starting, which is a good thing, I think, because he's all picking out his board room. In my absence, not a whole lot happened, but, you know, because I'm not here to... You know, stir things up. Plus, we're waiting on fall yarns to come in. Uh, they're all, they start this week. I think Thursday we get a shipment from Barocco, and then we should start seeing a lot of stuff start piling in. Uh, I thought I'd wear today the sweater that Judy showed you last week. I think it was on a mannequin. And this type of short sleeve on a mannequin, the, the sleeves look weird. So I thought I was going to put it on. Um, this is the Seven Sisters top. It is made with Blue Skies organic cotton print, which I think is really pretty. Sizing right now, super oversized. So you may, it depends on how you like things to fit. If you typically make like a large, you might want to rethink that because unless you want oversized and large, you might want to scale down. This is the smallest size. And even though this is designed to be more, you know, oversized, I kind of like it. I can wear it even though I'm not really a small anymore. And you know, you can also wear it more fitted. So you don't have to do the oversized thing. Um, and it only took like four skeins. So that's a real win. Even though we're already starting to talk about fall, it is still hotter than you know what outside. And this is a sweater you can whip up in no time and be wearing, you know, through the end of the summer. Um, what else happened? Oh, well, something did come in. We have this huge box. I, I've, I've been shopping again. See, these huge boxes. Not yarn. I bought yes. a new piece of furniture for the classroom. We're going to, tonight, <laughs> we're having a put together the furniture party. There may be margaritas involved. So next week, I hope to show you the new piece of furniture. Um, hopefully it'll look like, you, you can kind of see a picture of it on the box, although it doesn't really tell you too much about it. Hopefully it'll look like that and there's not shelves and doors dangling. If you, that happens, you know, maybe there was too much margarita drinking and not enough cabinet building. We're gonna put it in here. We'll go back to the classroom. So, like I said, it's about time for all the fall. We get to turn the store upside down. We have so much going on, it's insane. But we're going to put it in here. We're going to buy a new cabinet to put here because I'm tired of looking at all this stuff. It's time to clean up this area. So we've got this really killer cabinet we're going to put here and put a bunch of our junk in. And we're really excited about that. It should give me a better backdrop when I'm in the classroom. Um, when, while I'm away, uh, our teens, we've had a busy on little hat machine making hats. Uh, don't forget, we still need hats. Uh, now's the time to really start getting serious about it. We hand out hats to all the children uh, during trick or treat. Uh, here at Guthrie. Uh, if you've not been to Guthrie on Halloween with kid, you, you probably don't want to come because it's like every child in Logan County. The sidewalks, you can't even walk. There's so many kids and 
uh, everybody hands out candy. Well, a couple years ago, we decided to start handing out hats along with information about Sooner Success, a program that's really important to parents. Um, and it's been such so well received. The kids love the hats. Last year, we had to uh, just distribute them through schools because no one really felt safe doing that. But this year, I think we'll be back in action handing out hats, and we're going to need them. We usually need at least a 1,000 hats. I don't know what our account is. Judy takes care of that. But when these girls are having to do, we've got to make it hats right and black. So if you have scrap yarn, spare time, come make hats. Um, some people are making hats on balloons. Maybe people or kids who don't know how to knit or crochet. In fact, our library here at Guthrie actually has a loom group. They'll teach you how. We've hooked them up with looms and yarn, and they are making hats for us. And it's a fabulous thing. So if you've got some bored kids here at the end of summer before school starts, call up to the Guthrie Library talk to Chris. She can hook you up with the loom classes. And it's a lot of fun. Other than that, next Tuesday we'll have, like I said, I should have new fall yarns for Barocco. Hopefully we'll have the cabinet together in one piece. We'll see. It's been a while since we put together furniture. It too. has been a while. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should do more furniture and less margarita drinking at the beginning. I don't know. We'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, what the heck. We yeah. We're, oh, yeah. We're seasoned <laughs> pros. Is there anything else, Judy, I forgot to mention? Not that I know of. Okay. That's all. I'm glad to be back and look forward to seeing you guys next Tuesday. Bye.